So I found that whenever I collect cards, sometimes I like to sprint and sometimes I like marathons. And to be honest, when it comes to the Topps flagship product, I find that the retail product, that is definitely the marathon. Simply because, you know, I'm trying to finish the base set. I'm also trying to finish that Stars of LB set. So I have to get these, either the hangers, the cello packs, or the, or the blasters like this. But man, this is a slow go. I am nine cards away from the MLB, uh, Stars of MLB set. I am also 70 cards away from the base. And it has been a slow go. And it really slow whenever you can't find the product. Hi, all. Oh, uh, welcome to Night Rips. And again, today we're going to be opening up another blaster of 2022 update. So, as I mentioned, a couple things I'm looking for. You know, base is always it. And, you know, one of the advantages of not opening up a bunch of jumbos or hobbies or whatnot is I don't have a stockpile of just base cards like I do with the other sets. But I also don't have autographs. I don't have other things. Matter of fact, you can look at the odds here and see it's not too high. But you will find one of those Stars of MLB in here. This is a 99 card set. And you will find one of those baseball helmet relics, which are honestly, my opinion, pretty cool. And of course, it's right there on the top. You can always tell it's the super thick one. So let's put these to the side, zoom in, and invite you to join the channel, hitting that subscribe button and notify bell. All right, let's see what we can find in seven packs of 14 cards of 22 update. And hopefully I can get this almost done. Of course, right off the bat, first card I see is one that I remember because I've pulled this one several times. But, you know, we'll go through the base. Not necessarily seen all the base. I mean, obviously, I know I haven't seen all the base because I'm missing 70 cards. But actually, they let him go. Still look, looking to see if we find anything cool. Turning them around, making sorting so much easier. Of course, I'm so used to spinning cards around since I do open up a, a lot of older uh, upper deck. Oh, there we go. One that everyone looking for, that would be the Rookie of the Year for the American League this year, J-Rod. And we'll put J-Rod up. I'll put any of my, actually, Michael Harris won't have a card. That will be next year. But we got uh, Seiya Suzuki, Stars of MLB which I don't remember if I pulled or not. I mean, even those, I have already pulled duplicates. And only nine cards left for me on that one. And I do see the next one I have is going to be another one of those one. Oh, wow. Back-to-back -back packs. Back-to-back J-Rods. Of course, this would be his rookie debut. Putting these up because I don't know if I'm going to pull anything else Cool in this, it looks like I do have a die cut. Nice right, so Wander Franco. Of course, he was the big name in Series 1. And turned out uh, J-Rod was the one that pulled out in front of everybody else. It was Otani who got MVP last year, and then Trout had it years prior. Of course, the uh, American League MVP this year was Suzuki again was not a surprise with Aaron Judge. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not going to complain about this one at all. This is one of the Diamond Greats, and I will totally agree with that, being my hometown hero here, Hank Aaron, there with the Atlanta Braves. And he was actually wearing the Atlanta on that one. Could have been the Milwaukee. We'll end it with Bobby Witt Jr. Of course, Pull some of Bobby Witt Jr., but I actually pull a lot of Bobby Witt since I do open up when his dad was actually in the league. So who are we getting the third pack? This has been fun so far. Might not be making a lot of progress, but definitely some very cool cards, and we definitely, it looks like we have a rainbow foil on this one. The always intense Matt Chapman. Look, we pulled another one of these Juan Soto 100 home run cards. So, same blaster, dupe cards. And that's why we have not finished the base set. Base 330 cards. I'm trying to see. We actually got... got a, looks like we got a couple inserts in this one. So, we have 
Um, Marinacio, rookie, this would be the rainbow foil. One of this is the only foil that's not numbered that you'll find in these retails. The gold foils are actually in the hobby, which I haven't bought. And we pulled a 1987 style of Alec Thomas. This will be his rookie and someone whom I'm waiting for Panini to send me a redemption. I got a patch auto of him. We'll see if we get it. And of course we got you Darvish, which I think is like the third or fourth time I've pulled that card. Again, why I'm not finished that set and why it looks like I will be buying more of these blasters. Unfortunately, unless I got real close, then I would just individually buy them. There's Colby Albert, or Allard, sorry. And I should say his name right, because now we actually traded Oda Rizzi for him. Of course, that would be him coming back to the Braves. There's nice another pool holes. I don't remember if I've gotten this pool holes card. I know I had gotten his base card, but this would be ninth all-time in hits. Of course, he is third all-time in home runs. I think it's third. I have to go back and look now. I'm starting to question myself. Odor is no longer there. Ramos, Austin Nola. My first baseman, Matt Olson. It'll be interesting to see what he does next year. And the All Star game for Starlin Marte. Pretty cool. And then we end it with Tim Anderson, which actually I don't think I have. Three packs to go. Fun rip so far. Nothing crazy, crazy, but definitely a fun rip. Josh Lau, or Low, I forget how you pronounce it. My son corrects me on that every single time. A nice, there's the rookie of the year for, uh, I mean, not rookie of the year, my bad. That would be the World Series and American League Championship Series MVP, Jeremy Pena. Of course, I've pulled him a few times. So I've pulled J-Rod a few times, too. Just not in that short print from Series 2. The only one I got from Series 2 was actually Bobby Witt. Brandon Marsh, of course, still with the Angels. Ended up with the Phillies. And we got ourselves... Oh, this is a nice one. Black Gold. Shohei Otani. Last year's American League MVP. Pretty neat. Just a base, but just a base is still cool. And we'll end it with Kyle Tucker. Again, I don't remember if I've gotten it or not. I'll be finding out pretty soon. Two packs to go. And what's interesting, I haven't pulled a number in this one. I usually do. At least a number or a short. We'll see if, if that streak ends. Not that I'm actually trying to watch a streak, but... Painful looking at Freddie Freeman there. Javier Baez. Not really, did not really do with the Detroit like they wanted him. Of course, I think that's always the case when you pay a lot of money for people. I think Bryce Harper's one of the few that was different. He has done well, you know, he was hurt. And we have a backwards card. And why is it backwards? It looks like it's, oh, it's backwards because it is a short print. Gabriel uh, Arias, uh, Arias, sorry, Cleveland Indians. And looking at it, it is, yes, it looks like it's just a short print. Double checking, because you never know. It could be the collator, and it's not. It is a short print. Pretty cool. So we did pull a short print, and it's a short print rookie. I'll put him over here to the side, and then we end it with Anthony Rizzo, which I do know I've pulled that one before. So last pack, and this is gonna be the pack that actually has that baseball helmet relic. Can be numbered, can be colored parallels where they forgot to put the number. Like the blue one that I found for Jonathan India. And of course, problem with this, this one is because it's so thick, trying to not let them you know, slide away. Might as well just turn them over here. 
a lot of duplicates in this one. Well, that's kind of cool. We got Freddie and you got um, Chris Bryant there. Both of them new to their teams. And we got the rookie debut of Bobby Witt Jr. Of course, I've seen that one before too. So, but we have, oh, we got, and it's funny because I did these in back-to-back -back packs. Got back-to-back -back cards of Julio Rodriguez. This would be his batting helmet. So I won't put him on a stand because I'm running out of room. I'll just put him right here. And then we end it with Vidal Brujan. So what did we get in this one? So we didn't get a whole lot of inserts. We did get, of course, both of the J-Rod, both his rookie card, which is not his rare rookie card. That was in Series 2. But his regular rookie card and his rookie debut. We got Jeremy Pena's. That would be his rookie debut card. Actually, that one might be new to me. Now I'm looking at it because I think I have just his rookie. Both his rookie and his rookie debut were in this set. We did get Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Arias. This would be a short print rookie card. And, of course, I had to put this one on the stand. Diamond Great, Hank Aaron. And then finally, we did pull a J-Rod batting helmet. This would be the second one I pulled. And, of course, if you look on the back, it is just a base one. You know it's a base one because it's got white around it. So that's it. Another rip. Another fun one. And I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, I open a lot of old new stuff. So definitely you want to come join the channel, hitting that subscribe button and the notify bell. If you got any comments, drop in the comment section below. But as always, hit that thumbs up. It's good for the channel. It helps drive the algorithm. Appreciate taking the time watching this. And I'll look forward to doing this again real soon. So until then, bye now.